Right guys, so I'm super excited today to be able to bring you our latest edition of our double opening tents. Now we've been building double opening tents for absolutely years and we've taken all the great engineering we've put into the AX27 and DX27 model range into this tent with a lot of feedback from our customers and I must be honest, it came out an absolute treat. So I'm gonna be taking you through our TX27 range of tents. We offer two variations of this tent in our range. One tent being the TX27, which is 1.4 meters wide, and the TX27 Max, which is 1.6 meters wide, for those of you who want the slightly larger tent. Now, the only major difference on the tents is the actual width. Now, with adding on extra width on the product, we are definitely adding on a little bit of extra weight. So the TX27 model is coming in at 123 kilos, where the TX27 Max is 133 kilos. The center mounting distance between the two central points of your full length extrusions, or your mounting feet underneath, it's 1050 millimeters on your TX27 and 1250 millimeters on your Max. Now, when you include your external gas struts on these tents, that'll add on an additional 45 millimeters per side. So the TX27 tent is gonna come in at 1.49 meters and your max 1.69 meters. Now, let me go through the specs. We've got a max tent yet today and effectively the specs will be identical. So we're gonna go through all the specs and the features of these tents. Now, included with your tents, comes our mattress standard on the inside, as well as your underlay, which is really there for your condensation or warmth protection um, underneath the mattress. Not just that, but we have included, free of charge, these telescopic 2.6 meter long telescopic ladders inside of a ladder bag. So when you do get a very generic ladder, for example, like this dirty, where you're out camping, you can put it in the ladder bag and it's not gonna dirty your bedding on the inside or gonna dirty the inside of your car. Not just that, but it does come with a second ladder mount option. So standard one is fitted to the rear, as you can see there, and it has got two connection points. So you've got two securing points onto your ladder, which is gonna firm it up nicely on unstable ground. Now the second one that comes with inside of the ladder bag or inside the kit can be fitted to the right-hand side or the left-hand side doors, as we have effectively got three door openings on the tent, not just one opening and two windows. Also included is the manual, which in the manual will give you all your technical specs um, that you need, as well as the fitting kit with instructions. Now, as you can see, let me just put these to the side. As you can see on the tent, it has honestly been a massive engineering feat and a huge amount of hours spent behind the computer and actually doing our practical R&D tests on these tents, but um, after a while, we've actually come up with something that is absolutely beautiful. Now, we've got these really ergonomically folded stainless steel hinges that is hinging off your top shell, as well as these stainless steel over center latches off the rear. That also has got great over center cam uh, locking and pulls down tight on the full automotive seal. The one thing is we've got the automotive seal on two separate layers of the tent. So you are fully dust proof and waterproof when the tent is in a closed position. On the latches as well, we've got padlock holes on either side so you can lock your tent away. We've got two additional latches on the front um, of the tent as well, which is for the top shell, as well as your additional hinges. Now, as I said before, the stainless steel ladder mounting. So if you do go and scratch this, it's not gonna be a major drama. It is stainless steel underneath the black finished powder coat, as well as with our stainless steel handle. Now the TX, you'll recognize TX27, and the Max just has the Max name on the back of our handle as well. Now, our easy slot design that we've been using for years on our AX27 tents has come into this tent as well. These tents are really designed to carry accessories and be able to have accessories bolted to them. We've got Max Trax holders, shovel holders. You can fit awnings directly to the tent, solar panels to these tents, as well as load bars. For those of you who want to carry your surfboards, kayaks, or any extra goodies on the roof like, like bicycles as well. So all of those brackets are available to be seen on our website. Now, the next step on the tent is the total length. Total length of this tent is 2.250 meters, um, as well as a total closed height of 348 millimeters from the bottom of the foot 
to the highest point on the top of the rail, giving you guys a good idea when mounting these. Now these tents were primarily focused at trailers, big trucks or larger four wheel drives. So those of you who have got a camper trailer and you might be thinking of changing the tent over or an old box trailer where you want to add something on, these are really the perfect camping trailer tents um, for that purpose or for your large American trucks as well as for the nice big 4x4 trucks we're seeing a lot around here in Australia. Now on the top as well, we've got these extruded 8mm rails that run full length. So you can attach various products to the top. The total roof load capacity all right, in an open position is 35 kilos and in a closed position, closed position rather, 75 kilos in total. So you can load your kayaks on top when traveling or if you still want your tent to be able to open up in both layers, you can have, for example, your solar panels on top without a problem, able to charge off your 12 volt accessories. Now let's get into the rest of the nitty gritties on this tent. Righto guys, so I'm going to explain to you now how I'm going to open it. Now I'm going to try and open up this tent as if it was in a real life situation. In other words, it was on the top of your vehicle. So first up, you would undo the latches on your topmost lid. And these are situated on the front of your tent. Now you can do this while standing on the ground. You're simply going to reach up and undo the two latches. After that, you'd come to the rear of the tent where your ladder entry point will be in any case. Now imagine your ladder is attached to this and you will be then entering the tent. From this position, standing up on the ladder, you will simply raise the roof. While that raises, you pull down your bungee cord, which is attached there. Now this bungee cord is going to help to pull the canvas in from the outside. Now as you can see, this one popped up by itself. If it doesn't go up that easy by itself, and you've got extra weight on the roof, then you can simply raise it from the inside. And I'll go through that shortly. Now, on the tent itself, the tent is a full jeweled layered tent, and we took this technology from our AX27 rooftop tent that we've had for many years, and it's an absolute winner. So, dual layers of 310 gram acrylic in resin infused um, polyester material. Now, this is in a rip stop or a rip block type of format, so if you do get a slight tear in it, it's not a major drama, it's not going to run very far or run all the way out. Now, in the rear, or as it's open over there, we do have the spring rods. Now, there are four spring rods provided, one for the rear rain fly as well as one for the front. So simply put that into the corner slot. Now, you'll notice these corner slots as well. It's a full stainless steel tube. So really, really strong and able to take that. Now, we've pre-bent really nice curves in that rain fly spring rods as well. So it goes on and is extremely secure. Now, the reason why I've been running rain flies on my tents for many, many years, especially rain flies, and we were one of the first guys actually to have rain flies running all the way down the side of the tent, is to give you protection, not just from one side, but in this case, from three sides in a light rain situation. So if it is raining out there, or snowing, for example, you can even leave your windows or the internal doors down a fraction, so you can get that nice cross-flow ventilation. Now, on the sides of these tents, let me come around this side and show you. Being the dual layer tent, we have actually have got a external canvas, which has got toggles, so I can tie it up and keep it out the way. As you can see, it's stored out the way. So in extreme rainy conditions, you've actually got two layers of waterproofing. Simply zip that down, and we've got this on all of the doorways, as well as the top windows and the other doorway on the top on that end over there. So for this video, I'll simply show you to zip it up again, like that, and roll this up. And this can generally be stored permanently in an upward position. Only when the weather gets really bad and rainy would you want to actually let these down. Now secondly that, we've got this midge mesh. Now this is a fantastic product. This midge mesh has been around and we've been using it for a long time. It stops all those fire midges coming through, mosquitoes and so on, especially if you're touring Africa or in any malaria area, mind you, and also allows good cross of ventilation. Nice large doors, nice large windows on the top shell will allow cross flow ventilation through this entire tent. Now let's go and have a look on the inside of this tent. And then I'll take you through the procedure of how you would insert the other spring rods for the front rain fly. 
Right, so now on the inside of the tent, you'll notice it's absolutely massive in here. And it's giving you, with that double opening frame, more of a rectangular or cubical void on the inside. So you can easily sit down at the base of the tent. In fact, you can even go up your, on your knees. Now, speaking of that, the tent's opening height on the internals, from the base of the tent to the underside of the roof, is 1.45 meters. So it is still a very high tent and um, you've got more than enough room to move around in. The roof, on the other hand, has got a natural five degree rake. So when it is raining, your water will actually run off down to the bottom end. Now, from the inside of the tent, you will see that it comes with an additional two spring rods. Now these spring rods, if you're in a very high tent, a camper trailer is a bit easier because you're virtually working off the ground. But if you are very high up, you'd be inserting these from the top itself or from the inside rather so zip that down just lay it down there for the way you'll notice that there is a bungee cord there the same as on the rear you can simply grab this bungee cord and hook it down over the bottom edge like that now this rain fly covers the rear door and is great for for protecting the rear door from the elements so in a big rainstorm, you will zip the sides, side top windows closed and you'd still be able to get fantastic air flow through the rear. Now simply pull that towards you and hook it in the eyelet like that. And I'll do the same on this side. Insert it in the stainless steel rod holder at the bottom, pull it out and hook it into the eyelet. There you go. Now as well, the top layer is a dual skin tent. So you've got an external layer canvas which can literally come down as well as, so there you go, roll that down. And that with these toggles can be stored up and out of the way as you saw earlier. So zip that into position there. We've got a middle layer, which is the mesh itself. And that can be zipped like that, as well as a bottom layer or an internal layer rather that I've actually toggled off over there. So when I close the tents, I do like opening up most of the canvas so that the air can blow out past the mesh as you pull the tent down. So these, as you'll see over there, can zip up and close all the way as well. Now the big thing with all of the internal windows or doors is the internal layers fabric actually zips down to the bottom. And the most important part about this is for that cross flow ventilation while you're sleeping. If you are getting a little bit cold, and I'll show you on this side, you can literally zip up your side windows just a little bit like this or like this, tuck the excess canvas in, and you can actually low, be, lie below the airflow level and let the airflow blow over the top of you. You can also adjust the top windows in exactly the same way. Let them down all the way, or just do the zips up a little bit on there. Now, we've used the full um, YKK zippers on all of our tent canvas, and it is literally the best in the market as far as the zippers go. So they're gonna last you absolutely years. Other features on the inside is the amount of storage pockets that we have. So two pockets on the left-hand side, as well as two pockets on the right-hand side of the tent. And in the back corners, we've got water bottle pockets on both rear corners for additional water bottles at night. On the roof, we've got two full um, storage compartments, or rows of storage compartments rather, so it's six individual zip pockets for storing accessories and other goodies in. Now, not just that, we've got this pull-down handle in the center, and that is if you would like to pull the roof down from the inside, so if you're in a very high vehicle. If you're on a camper trailer, you'll probably just lower the roof down when, um, from the outside when closing it up. Now, the other thing to notice on the sides are these little zip pockets, and they go the full length up the side, and they also come down the full length, well, virtually the full length on the roof and those are our cable sleeves. When you are running accessories in these tents, for example, ceiling fans, it is really handy to tuck your cables into those cable sleeves and get them out of the way. So they don't have to hang down at you when, you, when, you, when you're running your electronics. Speaking of electronics, we've got two power outlet stations inside this tent, one on the left and one on the right. And if you look down on the side of the mattress here, you'll actually see we have got a SIG outlet 
as well as a twin USB, 2.4 amps each, on the left and on the right hand side. Still on the subject of electronics, the tents come with these really handy LED lights and they're battery charged. The reason why we've gone with this is one is you get a really good long charge on a set of batteries or usage on a set of batteries, USB charge that can plug out as well. So you can simply charge this in your tent or in your vehicle. Also, we've got three various colors, your clear, your amber or your red. Depending on the bugs or the insects, you might find a certain colored light works better. Now, the main reason why we've gone with these lights is that you can move them around so if you'd prefer light further down in your tent you can put one over there put one on this side and it's got a velcro tab to this now the entire roof has been lined or carpeted shall i rather say um, with a marine carpet which we have found we've been using for years and we find it works really great from heat insulation purpose and also practical use so a simple piece of velcro on there you can move this around if you get up in the night you can take your light and you can use it around the campsite I'm just going to stick that to the top. There we go. Now, the next thing on the inside of the tent is the mattress. Now, on the inside, you've got your mattress and as well on the bottom, your carpeted underlay. Now, your carpeted underlay is your moisture preventative layer, if you want to call it that. That's basically there to prevent condensation from getting underneath. It's a layer between your mattress and the alloy side or underside of the tent, being a full aluminium construction. The mattress itself has got this really nice ripstop breathable fabric so it's actually going to breathe and vent really really nice on those hot nights now on that mattress you'll notice it's an 80 mil mattress and we've gone with our dual layered foam in these again and it is fantastic the gray is your super high density foam or your firmer foam and your yellow being your medium density now that you can turn being if you want a softer sleep you can simply just flip the mattress over if you want a slight different feel on the mattress. So now let's have a look at another nice feature on the tent. So when you're in heavy wind um, conditions or you would like to lie on your back in this position over here and look up and do a bit of stargazing, what you can do is tuck this rain fly out of the way. So simply take your thumb, push that out and I'm doing this all while I'm inside or on the top of my camper trailer or vehicle. Simply pull that out and you will notice that when the roof lifts, it actually gives you some moving space on the outside. You're not going to necessarily fall out there. So from this position, you can see there's a toggle there and a toggle that side. I'm simply going to roll up my rain fly like that. And if you would like to, you can actually tuck the corner in and give that a nice little roll in on the edge like that. Tuck it onto the toggle. Thread, simply thread it through there. There we go. That and adjust it and pull it tight. And the same will apply for this side. So turn around and pull that up, flip that over and wind it the rest of the way so it's nice and secure. Now your tent is still waterproof in this position. So if you are in a rainstorm, don't worry about it. Your tent is still waterproof. But what it does do is it allows you to tuck it away so you can lie there. As I said, stargaze, get a bit more airflow, or just prevent that major flapping in a very, very heavy wind situation. From this position over here, I want to go through the closing up procedure of the tent. And I'm going to do that from the inside as well, as if it's real life situation. So let's start on the other end, as it was our second time, stage we put up. That is going to be the first stage we're going to be putting down. So the biggest trick when folding up any of our rooftop tents is to make sure that you allow the air to blow out or poof out of the tent. So what I like doing is zipping up, zipping up my mesh windows and doors, but allowing the canvas to be open or up or tucked away in that way. So when you do close it, the airflow can simply go out. So in a reverse procedure, you'll be removing your spring rods on the rear rain fly first. So that can come inside and so can this one over there. From there, you can lean out, grab your bungee, and pull this up over that rear rain fly over there. And that bungee actually works fantastically well to pull most of this inside. From this position, I zip up my mesh 
on the inside as well. That's just going to prevent things like your bedding from falling out, perhaps. So zip that up. That's going to keep everything nice and inside, but still allow the airflow to come through. And then on the inside, on the roof, you'll see this really nice, sturdy webbing handle. That's designed to pull it down when you're closing up that first stage. And down the bottom in the floor, tucked by your mattress in the center, is this Velcro strap. Now, what I suggest is open up the Velcro and have that ready to go for when you pull this down. Now, simply put your feet down towards the edge, lean back, and you'll be able to pull this down. If you're not strong enough, use two hands by all means. But it's really easy to pull that down. In that position, it pretty much holds itself. So I'm really not exerting pressure to pull that down. And I'm actually still sitting in here quite comfortably. From there, you take the Velcro strap through your handle and strap it against itself and make sure that that is secure. That is going to hold it in position while we do those latches or when we go to do those latches. Now climb out the tent and let's go to the rear of this as well. Now usually what you would do is you would unlet your, un uh, let your rain fly down. You don't have to do this but you would generally let your rain fly down as well. If I can see, there we go. So that side out and this side out. Now effectively you'll be climbing down your ladder at this stage. So while standing down on the ladder you can simply pull that down. You want to try and crisscross these or let them almost tuck into themselves. Now you can do that one at a time. Pull your bungee up, hold that into position there as well as that one. This would be the time generally when you would zip up your mesh section as well like that. From this position now, you want to go to the front of the tent to make sure that the latches are pulled down. Now that you'll be able to reach from the ground or standing on the side of your vehicle or standing on the front of your camper trailer or trailer for example. So we'd walk around, effectively latch your two latches on the front end and what this is going to do is going to give us that rigidity that we need in the top to pull it down as well. Once those are in place and with these latches as well, note they lock really well into position and they also have a padlockable hole on either side of them. So you can run a padlock, especially because that'll be the front of the tent when driving forward. Now, from this position, you would effectively climb back up your ladder. At this stage, you're looking for your strap to pull the tent down with. So there's the strap that I've tucked on the roof earlier. And what you will notice is multiple pull down handles or sections that you can actually grip the strap with. And that goes all the way down to the bottom. So from this position, simply pull down, grab the handle and pull this down to near the bottom. From here, it's really easy with minimum effort to control the up and down motion of the tent. With a nice long straight arm, tuck the side of the canvas in. And sometimes this is not even needed but it is good to have a look down both sides just to make sure that all your canvas is tucked in and out the way so nothing gets pinched or fouled in the seal. Bring that down all the way and latch your firm latches into position. Now guys, note that on the inside of these tents, there's close to 190 millimeters of space, especially around the central void. So a huge amount of space in our TX27 tent range to fit bedding and a lot of extras. So don't be shy on the pillows, duvets, spare blankets for you and for the whole family. Um, you can also store things like your rifles inside, bows, or your fishing rods, or any other equipment. Bearing in mind that the tents do lock so you can safely secure them as well. Guys, thanks for watching this video on this run through of our TX27 range of tents. For more information in metric and in imperial measurements, um, please refer to our website at thebushcompany.com. Don't forget to go bush and I'll catch you later.